Hey everyone, we're back in the kitchen, the scary kitchen. Oh my gosh. I'm always showing you a messy kitchen because this is life. You you clean, you you clean, you mess, you clean, you mess. Anyways, um, I'm going to clean up. I'm not going to show you guys this today unless you enjoy watching clean up videos. Let me know. I like them a lot. I, I could watch somebody clean. It's weird. Is it weird? Am I weird? Or do you like watching people clean as well? Anyways, today's a very busy day and I thought I would vlog a little bit. Actually, I probably will show you guys a little bit of cleaning, but I wanted to show you um, my fermented carrots because they're looking a little weird. The big ones looking a little weird. Apparently it's okay, but I don't know. I keep I keep taking it off the top. Let me show you what I'm talking All of you fermenting experts out there, tell me about that. It actually smells just fine to me, like just fine, but that looks like a horror film. Are you feeling me here? Like even right there, it looks like it's getting a bit dark. Anyways, ignore my dishes, those are clean. I'll try to get you from this angle. I don't even know, what do you guys think? Gross, huh? So Google is telling me that it's fine. Just take it off the top and it's fine. I'm like, what is it though? Like, is it fine? Like, is it fine? It's not in any of my other ferments. I, I use the exact same brine. I use the exact same everything except for is it the type of, I've never fermented in this this container before. I've never fermented in this container before. I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot of carrots to get rid of. I think I'm gonna scoop off the top again and just hope for the best, you know? what I've been doing every day is like scooping off the top. My husband came and did some dishes this morning for me. Isn't that nice? I shouldn't say my husband did dishes for me because it's not, it shouldn't be my job and he's getting, my husband's really good at like helping out. So he did some of the dishes. I should say it that way. I'm trying to find something to scoop off the top. Here we go. I'll, I'll show you guys. Let's, let's scoop together, shall we? Like again, it smells just fine. Do you see how there's like this film? I would really love any expert advice on this because I really just don't know. Like every day it keeps on wanting to do it more and more and more. So, and we don't have any floater carrots. As you can see, there's no floater carrots. I go back and forth. I'm going back and forth on oh, what I should do. I'm gonna taste one though. Wish me luck. I can't, it doesn't smell bad to me at all. Like it smells like it's supposed to, to me. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Can the mold be dry in there? I'm wondering is it, if it's the type of glass that I have that's just really um, giving it some sort of like a environment to grow because underneath there it doesn't look bad at all like the actual carrots they don't look bad do you see like the actual carrots Google. Let's see what Google says. And then I'll be back. We've got a lot of stuff going on today. I wasn't going to show you guys this because it's kind of gross and a little embarrassing to be honest because I've done fermented carrots so many times and this has never happened to me ever. So I'm just like, what, what the heck? Anyways. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to show you guys the whole entire thing. Like when I mess up, when I do well, when I don't understand something, when I don't know what's happening, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All the other ones, they look fine. I'll show you. None of the other ones have this issue happening. Oh, I stand corrected. Is it my brine that I used? This, one, this one's got it as well. The two out of the four have it. So two out of the four have it. So this one has it as well. 
These two do not have it. This one had it, this one had it. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Google is saying that it is totally safe. It is totally fine. It is a, um, I'm gonna put the, what it was called here. I can't remember exactly what it was called, but it's like a yeast lacto ferment situation and it's okay. So we're safe, we're safe to go. I have never had that happen. It does look a little weird, I'm not gonna lie, but I feel fine eating it because it smells totally fine. So it says to spoon it off and then put it directly into the refrigerator. So I'm gonna put those two into the refrigerator and then that can either take it completely away and stop it by putting it in the refrigerator or it will reduce it at least. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna put those in the refrigerator and I'll keep fermenting the other two because they seem fine for a bit longer. Um, I am going to try one of the ones that don't have it. Oh yeah, that's fermented. Cool. They can all go in the fridge. Do I have room in my fridge? I don't know. Mm. My favorite ones so far are the spicy ones. I think I'm gonna start doing more spicy. My favorite ones are spicy too. Really? Yeah, I love the spicy ones. Come try one now. They got a bit of bite. Mmm. Here. This is not spicy. Try it. Good? Mmm. Spicy. Mm hmm. Mmm. This one's better. Spicy. I was gonna get a whole jar of spicy ones. <laughs> All right, come on. Here's a couple more. You wanna see what it looks like, what I was talking about? Yeah. Do you know that one's one? clear? Mm -hmm. And that one's not? Yeah. It's called lacto -per ferment. Gotta wash your hands before you put your hands in the yeah. Let's get you a fork. Washing your hands with soap actually can wash your Mmm. Delicious. Put pep pepper flakes. And it, it, it tastes spicy. Pepper flakes are so good, huh? Yeah, pepper flakes. All the way, pepper baby. Pepper flakes. Can I have some more of these? Not sure pepper which flake ones. Jar. Wait, I take He's already gotten them out. I just put them in the refrigerator and he's already gotten them out. It's good though. I need some. I would rather my kids be eating this stuff than junk. Since there's no I'll show you what we're doing. I'm going to take out the filmy bit on that, and then we're going to just put them in the refrigerator back here. My refrigerator is so crazy right now. My favorite are the pepper flakes. I think I might put pepper flakes in this one in the refrigerator as well. So yeah, it is saying we're good. I'm just gonna spoon this off the top because it does say that I can change the flavor and texture of your carrots, but it's fine. I'm gonna believe that. I'm gonna believe that it's fine. I'm wondering if it's because I had put in my brine. I've never done that before. I've never put in brine. I'm gonna taste this brine actually. Interesting. Try this one, Hamish. The one that has that, that stuff over it? Yeah, look, I got it a lot and it looks fine now. Yeah. These have um, mustard seeds in them too. Mmm! Good? Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna go to town with those. You like them, huh? Don't bite your finger. Should I put, I'm gonna put some spice into these ones too. Yeah, it would make it delicious. 
more delicious, huh? Mm hmm So you guys can get these out and snack on them, all right, buddy? Mm hmm Anyways, I'll let you guys know if I, if I'm still recording. Well, I'll let you know anyways. I'll let you know on this video or in a different video what these look like in the refrigerator after being in there. Oh, actually, I'll show you now. So I've taken off all of that top layer stuff and it looks very clear and very fine. looks fine to me. This one's a bit, got a bit more, but this one looks just fine to me. I kind of want to put pepper flakes in it. Actually, I'll leave this one. I don't know. This one's still a little bit cloudy. And it's got, on the weights, there's a bit of film. I'm going to take all the weights out. As you can see. Like, if you can, start, ignore my dirty dishes. I'm sorry about that. If you can see, there's like a white film. I'm gonna try one. I'm gonna taste totally fine. Like, totally fine. There was a time where I would have just checked it out and been like, nope, not even messing with it. But I've never had this happen. But I think in the past, if this had happened to me, I would have been too freaked out and I would have just checked it all out. I would have been like, nope, not doing it. But I mean, even Hamish tried it. My, my eight-year-old son tried it and I almost had seven. My eight-year-old son tried it as well. And he's even, I mean, he'll tell you if he's like freaked out by it. Hamish, were you freaked out by these at all? Now you can see this one too. It looks very clear, just fine, beautiful fermented carrots. Yum. So the, the ones with the labels, the ones that still have the labels on, we're gonna do pepper flakes in them. Because yes, I don't, I've never stuck paper anything in afterwards, so we'll just kinda do that. Hope for the best. Yummy. We'll stick this to the back of the refrigerator so that we get this one later. Okay, Hamish, if you get this big jar out, I want you to ask for help. Okay, buddy? I want you to ask I want you to ask for help if you need this big jar. Oh, it doesn't fit. <laughs> big jar doesn't fit. Okay. Maybe we'll wash it and flip it inside out. Let's stick the lid this way and see if we can get it in now. This is one thing that I can get out today. He's a chicken today, I guess. Are you a turkey? Lucky we just had Thanksgiving, huh? I would get ya! <laughs> Talking about Thanksgiving, I kept the carcass of the turkey and we're going to Instapot this today and we'll come back in and check it later. So we're just gonna fill it with water and let it go for the day. Okay, since we're doing the cleaning in a different video, we're gonna pop outside and have a look at the garden really quick because I'm looking out there right now. Some things are looking really good and some things are just not looking really good. And I just wanna check it out and make sure that everything, I just want the kid, the garden to know that I love it and I need to, we need to make sure, we need to check in and see how it's mental health is going. The other day I noticed that I had a tomato growing in here. Let me show you. Flipping you around. I'm gonna take off the nets really quick. I wanna get a good water up in here and I wanna have a check. Oh my gosh. Ooh, what is that? What are you? Oh, it's a huge spider. Nice. Huge wolf spider. That's great. Okay, he's not huge. I, I, I take that back. But he's also not cute. I don't, I don't know, I, is it a wolf? I don't even know. He's not cute, he's not cute. I, I'll let him live. I'll let him live. <gasps> Look at that in there, guys. All right, let's continue taking off our net here. And then we will look at all of the goodies.
Guys, I'll show you. Oh, there's so many flowers. <laughs> I'll show you all of this. I just need to get it all off really quick. Smell this. Mmm. Mint basil. That's so good. Wow, huh? pick it. Look it. Let's show the YouTube so that Hamish can pick his blueberries. Hamish wants to pick his blueberries, so he must show you instantly. Yep, it's my plant. She got me a blueberry plant uh, a long time ago, and it has some blueberries have... Um, Opened. Yeah. There is one, two, three, four. This one isn't so ripe, but has, has five, five ones that are pretty good, so I'm going to take off the ones that I have like are gonna be good so i have these ones this one and this one over on the side and now i have four blueberries try one try blueberry see what you think hmm. sour or good good which one is good hmm. <laughs> it's better when you get off a plant there it is Blueberries. Yep, everything is better off a plant, like instantly off a plant, you know? Yeah. You know blueberry, all blueberries come off a plant, right? Yeah, I know, but like fresh ones. Yeah, okay, good. This lemon verbena is thriving. It smells so good. Ugh. If you haven't ever planted a lemon verbena, you really like lemony scents, this is, I'm telling you, it is gorgeous. And I actually feel like my asparagus is kind of doing a bit better. And the mint, guys, the mint is kind of shooting up there. Finally, this mint, has, I have had this mint for three years and everyone is always saying, mint takes off and you better watch it. Yeah, not for me. This mint has not done that for me. Oh, it smells so good. That plant's not looking so good. So we're gonna water up here really well, nice and good. And I think I'm actually gonna pull them out of the heat. I'm gonna pull all the pots back, I think, and let them kind of not be in the direct heat. I'm gonna water them, and then I'll pull them back out tomorrow. I gotta to get some mulch too, so maybe we'll do that today and mulch as well. So let's get going on this. I'm gonna pull all the plants back, water them, and yeah.
All right, we're just gonna let um, all of these plants just kind of have a, a little bit of a break in, the, in this shade. So we've got this plant here and it really needs to be picked because some of these leaves you can see are getting very eaten alive. And I want to be the one to eat them. I'm gonna go ahead and pick some of these leaves. This beautiful lettuce. I think we're definitely gonna be having a, I think we're gonna definitely be having a salad of some sort today. We'll just let, we'll let that keep going. Won't take too much more of those. Yeah. I'm really excited about this. I might be able to have this for lunch or dinner. Not bad. This, this makes me happy. Yes. Quickly, I wanted to show you guys all of the um, flowers we're getting. You see all the flowers? Let's shake them a little bit. Shake them a little bit like you're supposed to. Um, and then we've got a tomato here growing right here. And we'll shake the flowers, shake the flowers, shake it. My son's being very weird inside, if you can hear him. Shake the flowers, shake them. And look at this. All these tomatoes, beautiful. Shake the flowers, pollination. All right. Cool. We're looking Pretty good, guys. I guess I got out of the garden. That's a lot of lettuce. <laughs> I know. So I'm just going to put these down right there. I'm going to leave them for a minute, and then I'm probably going to rinse them as soon as I get the kitchen clean. So next time we come back to rinse the lettuce, the kitchen will be nice and clean, and then we can put them in the refrigerator and have them for dinner tonight. It's like that, we're clean. <laughs> Don't you wish it was that easy? I'm going to wait on washing up the lettuce i'm gonna wait on washing up the lettuce because i don't want it to go weird and it's not dinner time for another like hour or two come here really quick babe do you want our spicy or not spicy uh either roll this is a spicy one okay i just need Nice, huh? Mm -hmm. how, many more can, how many more can I have? There's a snack on. I have heaps, babe. All right, we're going to get this started right now because I want to get it in for dinner. And I also want to get this in, on the Instapot. I, I don't know why I didn't think of doing it when I was cleaning the kitchen, but I didn't. So, oh well. I wish I would have done it earlier. I could have slow cooked it throughout the day, but I, I just didn't think about it. I put too much time and effort into this turkey to not get every last morsel out of it. Got the carcass in there. I put some water. I'm gonna fill this up again and put that in there again. Alright, well while we're waiting for the water to filter, we're gonna get our salmon on. 200. 200 Celsius. Okay, it says I get another piece and later of the top. Of
It's in, now we just gotta wait for it to cook for 60 minutes. Chicken stock. stock is finally done. See it in there. So we're gonna go ahead and strain it and put her in the freezer. So what I'm actually gonna do is strain it and then put this bowl in the refrigerator and then take care of it in the morning. Okay, and that's what we got. I actually have a mascara under my eyes right now. I look like I have a black eye. Mm. It's good. The question is, where is it gonna go? <laughs> All right, look, I'm gonna put a towel in so that we can just, I just found a snail in my refrigerator. All right, towel is going in. There we go. All right, turkey broth is in. Hey guys, so I need to. I wanted to show you really quickly. I was about to end this video, but I thought I would quickly show you what this these carrots look like. They've been sitting in the refrigerator now for two days, and I also need to get this chicken stock back there into the freezer. So let's do that really quick. I'll show you the carrots really quick. We'll pop the turkey away in the freezer to deal with it another day, the turkey broth, and then that'll be it for the video. All right, if you remember, this had that really weird film and then we scooped it off, stuck it in the refrigerator, and this is what we've got now. So it looks like there's a little bit more of it happening there, the bubbliness, but it's not so bad. I'm just inclined to always scoop it off. I don't like the idea of it. What? Hey, Mish, come try one of these carrots. Me? Yep. So this is one of the ones that the other day where I had that weird thing on it and then we tried them and they were good after. Yeah, tastes like a fermented carrot. It doesn't taste weird or anything, I know that. Yeah. I definitely like the texture and crunch. Me too. I like the um, 
Spicy one's enough. Like, yeah. Oh. These aren't spicy. I'm gonna add a little chili flakes to these ones too. Just for fun, these. Good? Mm. Here, try it. See if you can taste it. Like, probably not. It's probably too early. Okay. You can definitely taste it a little bit. No, you can actually. Huh. Look at the other one. This is the other one that had some. I want to get a chili flake and see how spicy it is. Hurry. Okay. Pop it on your tongue. Is it going to spit, but he's spicy? A little bit. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. It feels like there's fire on my tongue. Come here. Oh my gosh. You have regrets oh. now? No. No regrets? Good. Oh. I'm gonna spoon this one off as well. Try one, Hamish. Okay. Tastes good? And we got our big O. <laughs> Do we get this jar out by ourselves? No. Oh, no. Alright. Now I gotta take care of this stuff. I'm not sure if this is good. It's been like three days since Thanksgiving. We're all just really turkeyed out. And yeah, the boss is looking really good. Alright. Uh, there's our chicken. Sorry, turkey stock. Hey. <laughs> you see the jiggle in that? That is some serious gelatinous. I just realized I'm still out of freezer bags and I need to get this in the freezer. So, I am going to chuck it straight in the freezer. I'm going to cover it with tin foil. And then tomorrow I'm going to get it out and I'm going to put it into a bag. Changed my mind. I'm gonna put this in some jars and freeze it. I think I should probably leave a little headspace because it's gonna freeze and expand, right? So I'm gonna do it like that. This would make phenomenal turkey gravy. So many things. Gotta let that defrost overnight, Hamish. So leave it out and you can have some in the morning. With, we'll make some orange juice oats, okay? All right, guys, there we go. That is our turkey. Um, this is our turkey stock and it is so gelatinous. I, I am so pleased with this product. I feel so accomplished. Turkey stock. And they are in the freezer now, ready to freeze up and be used. All right, guys, that's it for the video today. I'm just out here enjoying the nice cloudy sky. I love the smell of rain. It's one of my favorite smells ever. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. I just wanted to jump on here quickly and thank you guys for joining my video. I really, really appreciate all the support. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.